So the techniques that we're looking at today are to basically help to reinforce the lateral edge of the ankle. So injuries to the ATFL, to the PTFL and the CFL are all going to be supported by these techniques. So the areas that we need to be careful of are, are the retinaculum at the front of the ankle, so we've got a pad on there. At the base of the fifth metatarsal on the outside of the ankle, you don't want to put too much pressure through there because it'll be uncomfortable and not too much pressure across the Achilles at the back, so we put a pad on there. So the first anchor is going to go around the ankle. So that first anchor should be in a slight diagonal to fit the shape of the ankle. And the first technique we're going to do is to control heel position. Okay? So if you ask your patient to state 90 degrees, I'm going to apply the first stirrup. Okay, so make sure you flatten down the stirrups as you go, so you don't get any unequal tension. And you want to half overlap what you just did by about two thirds to a half. Onto the third stirrup. Okay, making sure that your patient's staying at 90 degrees. Okay, and that's the stirrups finished. Okay. So if all you wanted to do is control heel position, you could lock that off and do your overwrap with the EAB. We're going to carry on now because we're going to do some figure of six support. So again, figure of six can be applied to either side of the joint. Okay. And this figure of six crosses over the front of the joint line. Crosses around to the sides to ensure that there are no creases. And again, you're slowly working forwards. Okay. This is where you need to start being careful around the base of your fifth. Okay, so you're not looking to put too much pressure on through there. We're finishing across the front of the joint. Okay, and flattening all that down. Okay, so that's a figure of six te technique. Again, just to try and reinforce support through your ATFL at the front of the ankle joint. So again, going up another level, we can apply some heel locks now. So again, asking your patient to state 90 degrees. Come on to the, the lower portion of the foot. We're going to hook round and under. Okay. Trying to keep the tape flush. I'm going to cross over that Achilles pad at the back, so don't put too much pressure on through there. And finish across the front of the joint. Okay, we're going to do the same thing in the opposite direction. Again, being careful of the base of fifth hooking around the back of the Achilles, so virtually overlapping the last layer that you just did. Okay, tracking over and finishing on the first anchor point. Okay, flatten everything down so there are no creases. Just want to finish the anchor. Okay, so to make this technique a little bit more durable, now I'm going to do some 3 inch wrap over the top. Okay, so again, applying light tension through this tape. Okay, asking your patient to stay at 90 degrees. Then you're going to hook around the back. Go around the joint once. Come back down across the Achilles, hooking underneath the foot. Okay, keeping that foot at 90. Okay, and then we're going to hook and take in the heel bone. Okay, flattening as we go. So we're having no creases. And that's that technique finished. So you can press it all down. Tough. And then one complete loop, just to finish the technique. And that's a lateral ligament complex strapping technique completed.